we want to determine how many of the elements n in the set is n a multiple of three or five. To help set this up, we will let set A equal the set containing multiples of three, and set B be the set containing multiples of five, and therefore A intersect B is the set containing multiples of three and five, which would be multiples of 15, and A union B is the set containing multiples of three or five. So because we're looking for the number of multiples of three or five, we're looking for the cardinality of A union B, or the number of elements, again, that are multiples of three or five, which is equal to the cardinality of A plus the cardinality of B minus the cardinality of A intersect B, where the cardinality of A is the number of elements in the set that are multiples of three, the cardinality of B is the number of elements in the set that are multiples of five, and the cardinality of A intersect B is the number of elements in the set that are multiples of three and five, or multiples of 15. Because we have a rather large set, it'll be time consuming to count all the multiples of three, five, and 15, and therefore we'll use division to determine the number of multiples of three, five, and 15. Since the set contains integers from one through 500, we can determine the number of multiples of three by dividing 500 by three, and then if we get a decimal, we always round down. Since 500 divided by three is equal to approximately 166.7, we know there are 166 multiples of three in the set, and therefore the cardinality of set A is 166. Since 500 divided by five is equal to 100, and set B contains the multiples of 500 from the set, the cardinality of B is 100. And because 500 divided by 15 is approximately 33.3, rounding down we get 33, indicating there are 33 elements in A intersect B, meaning there are 33 elements in the set that are a multiple of 15. And that's all the information that we need. The cardinality of A union B, which again is a number of elements that are multiples of three or five, is equal to the cardinality of A, or the number of multiples of three from the set, which is 166, plus the cardinality of B, which is a number of elements in the set that are multiples of five, which is 100, and then minus the cardinality of A intersect B, which is a number of multiples of 15 in the set, which is 33. Simplifying, we have the cardinality of A union B is equal to 233. There are 233 elements in the given set that are multiples of three or five. I hope you found this helpful.